I am taking the subject is the e-commerce. My name is Ranjit Subramanian, working as the assistant professor, Department of Information Technology, IIRE, Trindigal, Hyderabad. Okay. Today we are taking up the my topic, uh, namely electronic cash in action. Okay. Already in the previous class, what is the online electronic cash transactions? Different types of the methods. Everything should be explained. Today, my important topic is the electronic cash in action. Okay, different types of the actions is going on the electronic cash. Okay, uh, including different types of the here the electronic cash often refers to as a e cash. Simply electronic cash, nothing but it is a e cash. Or DC cash, whatever it may be, the e cash or DC cash treated as the electronic cash is a form of currency. That exist exist only in electronic form and can be transferred electronically. The data uh, should be transferred to the electronically. This type of cash is called electronic cash. Electronic cash simply is the cash or digital cash. Any uh, digital cash, not a paper uh, cash, is called electronic cash. Okay, it's the uh, essentially. A digital representation of the traditional cash that can be used for online transaction and sometimes in the physical stores through electronic payment system. So, here how a electronic cash typically works in different types of the actions. So, this is called the digital information uh, of the electronic cash. And action of but how to perform, how to uh, transaction uh, in the uh, uh, source to destination, how to trans tra um, transform to the uh, transfer to the electronically, those things also could be uh, identified in this uh, uh, today class. Okay, here the electronic cash typically works in different types of the action. Here, one is the issuousness. Okay, the e cash is usually. Issued by a financial institutions are a trusted third party that is called the issuance. Issuance also one of the important kind of the electronic cash in action. So the e cash is usually issued by a financial institute institutions are a trusted third party. This can be a bank or payment processor or even a government. Um, back the entity. So, uh, issuing any uh, authorization party that is also uh, either digital cash uh, is the valid uh, or data or the amount of the data then issued by some trusted parties, okay, either financial, financial institutions or trusted parties. And second one, how to create the account creation, it is also one of the important things from the Electronic cash in action, having account creation also one of the mandatory fields in this business. So, the e commerce before and that you can create the account creation also required in the any bank or digital wallet to the account also. To use e cash, users need to create an account with their issuer. So, eCash users need to create an account with the issuer. Issuer before and that create the account. This account is often linked to the bank account or credit or debit card also. Before and that create the account, then account persons are issued the some debit cards also. Credit card account is the different account in the market. So. The account creation also one of the special kind of important uh, thing from the electronic cash in action. So, the after completion of the account creation, then after uh, could be done a transaction is called the conversion. What does it mean to be conversion? Users can convert traditional currency such as a dollar or euros or whatever it may be. Uh, any bitcoins etc etc also there into a electronic cash by depositing money into their e-cash account that is also one of the important thing are required from the 
electronic cash in action, users can convert traditional currency such as the dollar or euros into electronic cash by depositing money into their e-cash account. So, this can be done through bank transfer or credit card or debit card, whatever it may be, or payments. So, or other accepted methods. This is called the conversion. For example, you can deposit the physical currency in the bank. Physical currency could be converted into the uh, digital currency. Nothing but a e-cash. Okay. That is also one of that. For example, you can pay the uh, credit card bill through cash. Then taking up the cash, then automatically your amount will be transferred. It is conversion to the your physical money too, like the debit card also. Different types of the methods is going on in the conversion. Conversion nothing but uh, data convert either physical into the value of the money in the digital format. Such type of methods is called the conversion. So, the, and after that, done the conversion, then after that, transaction should be done. What do you mean by transaction? Once user have a e-cash their account, they can use it for various transactions. So this can be include online purchases, okay, bill payments, or even persons to persons transfer. For online transactions, users typically provided their e-cash accounts. Details are use a digital wallet link to their e-cash account. So so many uh, based on the requirement you can transact the your e-cash amount after conversion you want dollar then convert the dollar you want rupee then convert. you want euro you want other uh, wallets then automatically with the help of the small transaction amount could be convert into the uh, other um, cashes so that is also digital cash then again forward to the transfer to the your need or needed persons. Okay. Once user have e cash in their accounts, they can use for various transactions like business transactions, current bill, or water bill, or school fee, or whatever it may be, anything in the uh, requirement uh, need, you can keep it. Why? Because those data is the validated data. Those that data or the amount of the data is called the genuine data. This can be including online purchase, any online purchase like bill payments, one of so many bills, either water bill, gas bill, phone bill, whatever it may be, you can pay the bill payments. Then after, even uh, you will share the some cash person to person or even person to person transfers also is possible. Okay. For online transactions also possible, user typically provide their e-cash account details are users use a digital wallet link to their cash account. So transaction also one of the important uh, method from the electronic cash in action. Okay. Then after going to the another one, uh, submitting is called the authorization. Uh, uh, money is a very secure or trustworthy. Okay, money data, money, any digital cash or physical cash, whatever it may be. Those data is a very trustworthy and secure also required. One of the important criteria, one of the important characteristics is called the authorization. What is meant by authorization based on the electronic cash in action? Authorization is the common word, but how to apply from the electronic cash in action? Authorization, when a user initiates a transaction, the e cash system verifies the transaction details and the user account balance to ensure that they have a sufficient funds or not is available or not. If everything check out, the transaction is authorized and the funds are transferred from the user account to a recipient account. Could be checked out before, that is the fraudulent account or genuine account. How much funds are there? How much funds are transferred? All those things depends upon the authorization signatory or authorization person. Here, either bank manager or direct customer, whatever it may be, authorization should be checked the entire 
uh, criteria in depth things. When you use the initiate your transaction, before of the transaction, should be checked the, all those things, then after transfer to the amount. So the when you use the initiate your transaction, the e care systems verifies the transactions, uh, details and a user account balance to ensure that they have a sufficient fund or not. If everything uh, could be checked out, the transaction is authorized. So, uh, and the funds are transferred from the user account to recipient or receiver account. So, the transaction and after that, um, before on that, authorization is also one of the important things in the electronic cash in action in the e-commerce. So, and after that, uh, account is created, transaction could be done and check the authorization and after that, amount is received or not could be checking some confirmation also with acknowledgement also required. This type of thing is called the confirmation. What is the confirmation? How to confirm the amount is transferred or not could be checking after the transaction is authorized. Very good. Both the sender and receivers receive the confirmation of the transaction. So such type of entire process is called the confirmation process. This confirmation usually includes details such as the amount transferred or the data and time of the transactions and the transaction ID. Then display the transaction ID also and it display the time and date, how much amount is transferred, when, time, whenever uh, transfer the data, receiving time also, enter those data is available in the online transactions in the digital format. So, Confirmation also most important thing in the electronics cash in action. So electronics cash in action confirmation is the mandatory field from the any transaction. And the finally, another important word is called the security. The security is different aspect in the authorization. What is meant by security? Why? Because the data is transferred to the electronically or the electronic data. The electronic cash transactions are typically securing using encryption and authorization or authentication mechanism to prevent unauthorized access and fraud. So, the security is the most important aspect in the electronic cash in action. So, the electronic cash transactions are typically secured using encryption and authorization or authentication mechanism to prevent unauthorized access and fraud. So, that is also an uh, aspect of the security concept. This helps ensure the integrity and confidentiality of the transaction data. The security, most we can, two things also required. One is the integrity and confidentiality of the transaction data. These two things could provide the any uh, online business persons like any trustworthy transactions. So, Security also most powerful tool uh, from the electronic cash in actions in e-commerce. Without security, without protection, uh, transfer the data or in the sense either money or whatever it may be, may is whatever it may be, this is a very difficult task. Here could, could be things, two things also required. One is the integrity and confidentiality of the transaction data. The electronic cash transactions are typically secure. Most of them compared to other transactions. Using the encryption authentication mechanism to provide, prevent, and unauthorized access to fraud. You can use the here encryption techniques also there. Encryption is uh, Legitimate data is converted into the uh, unlegitimate data. It is the, with the help of the, some cryptographic technique tools are implemented in the authentication mechanism to prevent unauthorized access and fraud. So, security, the most uh, the, uh, powerful uh, encryption, decryption algorithms are could be implemented in the security aspects. Here, this helps ensure integrity and confidential of the transaction data also most important. Thing. With help of the, finally, the security important thing is called the integrity and confidentiality. The integrity of the data and confidentiality of the data is the most important thing. And other than the 
one of the important supporting mail friends cash in action in the e-commerce record keeping store the data store the data is the permanently store the data in temporarily uh, how many days how many weeks how many years also required then the, those data treated as a record the, the e cash system maintains a record of all transactions for the auditing and the recancellation of the purpose uh, users can also access the transaction history to track their uh, spending on account activity is called a record keeping information so the record re, record and keeping nothing but a uh, previous transactions could store one uh, temporary or permanent place then whenever tracking also required we can check the tracking facilities as available in the record keeping so record keeping nothing but a store the entire information with the help of the previous transaction and present transactions whatever it may be this type in this kind in this type of the uh, uh, sub uh, knowledge also very useful in the electronic scan cash in the in actions so record keeping also uh, one of the important uh, kind of the electronic cash in actions so this e cash systems maintain a record of all transactions for auditing and uh, recancellations purpose users can also access the transaction history to track their spending and account activities also required so overall electronic cash in actions in the e commerce electronic cash offer a convenient and efficient manner convenient and efficient way to conduct financial transaction in the digital age so the enabling seamless payment across the various platforms and channels will be implemented the electronic electronic cash in actions the main important thing the receiver or sender whatever it may be or uh, seller or buyer uh, is the convenient and efficient way to conduct a financial transactions in the digital age these are the main aspect or important thing and enabling seamless payment across the various platform and channels is a very easy very convenient and very secure very authenticated um, uh, those things also there and finally record keeping also important thing keeping nothing but a of the transactions store the some data and the store the prospect of view transaction history of the turn in fact is spending account of that to do so many things will be depends upon the um, the electrons cash in the action in the e-commerce so the electrons cash in the actions and further uh, achievements also there are like the doing those things please call the electronic cash by offering many benefits many benefits also present see several businesses use the ttpa adjust for its the widespread adoptions of the effective use so one of the important thing is called the security concern uh, it is the most powerful tool from the electronic cash in action security is the major issue since the electronic cash systems uh, there mm, there is always a risk unauthorized access fraud or theft of the electronic bond funds uh mm, business and mean robust security measures such as the encryption authentication and the fraud detection systems to protect both their own assets and their customer funds so the security concern is the most powerful tool in the electronic cash in action here we can use different types of the uh, encryption detection algorithms also there for example rsc algorithms bookish algorithms Or uh, some different decryption of the them. It's based on the bits also two fifty six five one one zero two four. Um, uh, okay, like that. Such type of electronic cash in actions are also is available. And the other one is the regularity compliance. What do you mean by uh, regularity compliance? Uh, business operating electronic cash systems must uh, completely. the various financial regulations and the anti money laundering aml laws different types of the laws are there in the uh, some 
financial institutions, you can uh, identify the some problems. These are the problems could, could be created by some laws and regulations that are required. Uh, these regulations are very jurisdictions and can be complex and stringent. Ensuring the compliance requirements in the key resources and expertise. So, regularity is a complexity depends upon the rules and regulations of the business operating in the enterprise. If any problems will be there, then uh, so participating of the jurisdictions and complex of the uh, statement and the jurisdictions and the land of also could be involved into the regulatory compliances. So, the uh, and chi money rendering AML laws is the most powerful laws in the nation or in the global also. So the security concern is the most important thing. Then after regulatory compliances also, it is a very helpful in the jurisdictions and land other also. Customer trust and confidence. Will a customer with the, uh, trust and confidence in the electronic cash in action? One of the important thing uh, compared to physically, why? Because I bring the amount in the physically, it is some difficulty. You are not in any amounts with the help of the transaction or trustworthy, then transmitting of the data one, one, one person to other person. Building and maintaining trust and confidence among the customers is crucial on the, on the access of the electronic cash systems. Business, business needs to be demonstrated that their systems are secure, reliable, and easy to use. So, any security branches is the instance of the fraud uh, can erode trust and damage the, the reputation of the business. So, here also one of the important things from the customer trust and confidence, building a confidence, building a customer trust also most important. Why? Because that is called a, is a software, is a program. Then transfer to the amount, a one turn a receiver to sender, sender to receiver. In the meanwhile, so many complications and problems is going on. Those systems is the failure in the electronic cash access. Not like that, the customer trust, you can provide the good trust also required, along with the confidence, build up the confidence in the customer also required. So, you can use this too. Some secure and reliable techniques could be implemented in the uh, electronic cash in actions. And the other important thing is the infrastructures and te technology requirements also are required. Infrastructures nothing but a, how to transfer the data, how to receive the data using some internet also required, a set of systems also required, authentication and authorization is also required, and using the mm, quality of the uh, signaling also required. Other than the very difficulty from the online transactions. Here, the implementing and maintaining the electronic cash systems require a robust technological infrastructure. We can use the robust technological infrastructure. So, the business need to invest in the secure server, payment processing of platforms, encryption tool, and other technologies to support electronic cash transactions. So, they also need to stay and updated with advancement in the technology to remain uh, competitive and secure. So infrastructure and uh, technology requirements are also very needed for the any electronic cash and actions is required. One is the customer trust and confidence and second one is the infrastructure and technology requirements also required. And uh, integration with the existing system. That is also one of the technical aspects of the electronic cash in actions. Many business already have established payment uh, systems and process in a place. Integrations and electronic cash systems in the existing systems can be complex and challenging. So this is also one of the important things or one of the surviving from the electronic cash in actions is for the integration with the existing system. So, the business need to ensure seamless integration to avoid disruptions to their operational customer experience with improvement. And customer education and support, then enter the scenario you can learn uh, what about going on, what happened internally 
digital learn also one of the important thing is called customer education support also most important Electronic care systems may be unfamiliar to some customers, particularly those who are not uh, tech savvy. So business need to provide adequate, educate, and support to the health customer understand how electronic cash work and how to use it effectively. This may include tutorial and uh, FAQ, previous asked questions and customer support channels on the user friendly to this is the the customer education and support um, uh, good uh, elaborate the, all those things and give the some support also required like you know, customer care customer send the mails call them calling the ones and uh, any feedback or star and uh, uh, star rating or not, whatever it may be, it depends upon um, how educate the customer. One of the important whenever going to feel, whenever we include as our entire um, my amount is how to reach it effectively or not. All those things will depend upon we can learn before and the transactions also very important. But electronic cash management. So with the care and carefully transactions is required for the electronic cash in the cash transaction. And another important thing is called uh, transaction cost. The transaction cost not the yeah? transaction cost. While transaction cash is a potentially reduced transaction cost compared to a traditional payment method, business still incur fee of the cost in electronic transaction. This fee may including interchange fees network fee and other costing charges also there. Managing and, minim managing and minimizing transactions cost is the essential for the maximizing um, profitability. So transaction cost in the electronic cash in the EM in the actions, it is the transaction cost is the very less compared to uh, maximum profit also getting. So such type of thing is the most important thing for the uh, market acceptance and market acceptance and competitions. Electronic cash systems face competitions from the other payment methods such as the credit and debit card, mobile wallets, and uh, cryptocurrencies. This type of techniques are also implemented. Business needs to be a different there from the electronic cash offering and convenience consumers of the drawing pages of using them or of alternative payment method. So this required effective marketing and branding strategies also there. So the electronic cash system space uh, based completions from the payment method, we can use very important tool uh, provide the specifications also very important from the market access and completions. Um, and then some offers also giving convenience of the consumer advantage or anything, uh, lower and alternative payment method and uh, pay now, uh, use me, use today, pay tomorrow, pay later, like the six type of things is going on. So this is also one of the powerful, most trustworthy things from the electronic cars. This requires effective marketing and um, branding strategies also. In the overall electronic cash in action, the overall um, while electronic cash offers many benefits, many so many benefits of the um, like businesses must address these issues effectively to capitalize on the opportunities presented by the existing payments and ensure the success of the electronic cash initiatives. So the electronic cash in the actions is the most powerful tool in the e-commerce business. Um, it is uh, one of the security, uh, one, of, one is the auth authentication and authorization. Overall, uh, the electronics cash are for many benefits and businesses must address these issues effectively to capitalize on the opportunities presented by the recent payment and ensure the success of their electronics cash.
is the more which electron electron gas ministry is the most important thing for the electron gas reaction. So these are the my references. I'm not a conductor, the books is there. The first book is the uh, foreign trace of the electrons from us, which is the one of the one book with it, and the different type of references to book is there. E camera strategies and technology and application and the one book. Another uh, reference book is called the E camera. The cutting edge devices for the mind tool is another important book. And third one is the um, T and K studies, the global electrons from us, T and K studies are also there. I will send them some links in the references. Very healthy for the your, um, your, uh, calculate, your calculate, extra calculate studies. Thank you. This is the uh, end of the main class. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.